welcome back to Block TV. Time for Crypto Globe. And when it comes to the old continent, as it is referred sometimes, Europe, Europe seems actually to be digging its heels in. The European Central Bank has set up an advisory committee called the Crypto Assets Task Force, or ICA-TF, to examine the ramification and impact of cryptocurrencies in the European economy. The May 2019, that would be this month, report, Crypto Assets, that's what it was called, Implications for Financial Stability, Monetary Policy and Payments and Market Infrastructures, had some interesting findings which essentially concluded, and we quote, let me quote you this report, the ECB has found that crypto does not pose risks to financial stability in the Eurozone. But the central bank does recommend, however, that European legislators create a uniform approach to crypto assets. Confused as are we. Now, let's go straight to Europe, where we are joined by Christoph van der Beek. He is the chairman of the board for Blockchain for Europe. Uh, and about this ECB report, Christoph, let's start with that. First of all, what do you guys make of it there? Uh Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, thank you for uh, having me. It's always nice to get the opportunity to uh, represent uh, um, the industry and uh, our members in, uh, in matters like this, which is uh, what uh, obviously is our primary goal. Um, it's, uh, the the uh, report was actually quite interesting. Uh, it doesn't really have a lot of uh, new things to it, um, but um, as a matter of fact, the ECB paying uh, this much attention to crypto assets uh, or as we know them cryptocurrencies um, is uh, is a good thing uh, I believe so but let me ask you this Christoph because we are aware I'm aware of that argument well at least they're talking about us at least they're referring to us but essentially what they're saying is that cryptocurrencies are not money yes is that's that um, so basically uh, the way they see it uh, is uh, cryptocurrencies are um, because they are not legal tender and they and and there is nobody that's actually um, giving something in return um, obviously they also mention the um, the volatility because of that um, but because of those inherent uh, characteristics they don't see it as uh, money and they actually don't uh, prefer not to refer to it as currency either because well, from their perspective right uh, they are the ones that issue currency and uh, so uh, overall yes they, they don't see it as so a, how is that good for the blockchain and cryptocurrency sphere in Europe um, well o overall um, so we have to look at it this from from different perspectives right the the ECB they have the responsibility to protect financial markets, to protect uh, customers, you know, the, the uh, citizens against, uh, you know, financial instability. And um, if uh, things like, if they would actually, um, cryptocurrencies would actually represent currency, then they would kind of pose a threat towards um, the goal of what uh, the ECB is doing. So in that perspective. I mean, clearly, but isn't, isn't that the whole battle? I mean, if one hopes, be it um, blockchain technology revising and, and revolutionizing and disrupting the old markets, do we, I mean, do you not think that this puts some sort of a damp or stops the moving forward and the innovation in, in the sphere in Europe? I mean, they say, yes, they exist, but we don't recognize them as such, right? You also have to realize that um, if they would actually recognize it as a currency, um, it would also imply that um, there would be regulation involved and things like that. For now, given the fact that they also assist that, that cryptocurrencies do not impose a threat on financial stability, um, it's, it also means that it's not likely that they will be pushing hard for um, legislation and, and, and uh, I think Overall, that's a, that's a positive thing for uh, for the crypto space. And it's a positive thing not to be um, uh, regulated in Europe? Well, um, w what I mean is uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be unregulated, but okay. um, and, uh, in order to not put a halt to the innovation and to the, 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 the direction moving forward, um, heavy legislation obviously would be, would be a compromise on that. Um, the ECB identifying cryptocurrencies as 
something that's not a threat to them uh, is, is, is a positive thing. Is it positive things? Are there those who would argue that it's identifying it as not a threat, but also saying we're also not going to let you play in the big waters as, you know, within the market. But, you know, let me ask you this. If this is a good thing, what, do you, what would you hope for as the chairman of the board um, of Blockchain for Europe for the ECB to decide next? Or, you know, what, where, how do you see this moving forward for the blockchain community of Europe? So one, one of the positive things is also that they identified that there should be a coherent approach to uh, legislation and, and how cryptocurrencies are dealt with, uh, which is something that we as a Blockchain for Europe Association uh, see v like it's highly valuable. Uh, it's very it's important not just on a, on a European level, but also on a global level to have a, a unified approach. Um, uh, a report like this issued by the ECB that contains statements like that where um you know the, the benefits would be from from a more global or at least european approach uh is something positive and uh it's something that we as an association um or should i say are more than happy to to help with uh in order to like connect people and advise from our members towards any institution on uh, on the the current state of things and uh, and what is needed and what are potential threats. But indeed, you know, you, it's it's actually quite fair to argue that most likely in the United States, people wouldn't go for the sweeping. It's not currency. We do recognize it, and when you regulate it, let's do it as a whole. Because there's a little bit of a you know ironic disconnect here in, in this report. Um, uh, you know, one can argue journalistically, and you know there are many people in the blockchain sphere that would like to see cryptos accepted as currency should they just give that up yeah but you you have to you have to look at this from the perspective of a central bank right the central bank they have so they have they are the ones that are having the um the authority to issue currency the way they see it from their perspective uh currency is something that's issued uh by a, a central bank or um or a bank itself um so not having a financially um regulated entity issuing whatever token um you know already means they also mention they also mention uh stable coins and um well actually uh, it was explicitly mentioned in the report that uh stable coins that with, with an identified issuer are actually excluded from the report so that those would obviously mimic or at least represent more some, something more of currency, uh, which is when, when it comes to central banks, they lean more towards a stable coin because then it's backed by something um, that they recognize. And I think though that is the battle within the sphere, irrespective of what the ECB wants, because the community needs to decide. Let me ask you again, though, finally, Christoph, where do you see, I mean, what is your hope? Put aside the ECB for a second. What is your hope? as the chairman of the board for, of blockchain for europe for the sphere for blockchain in the next let's say five years when it comes to europe on the continent where do you see it what would you like to see happen with it specifically to cryptocurrencies you mean yes well i think uh, we're we're on the right path um the not having very stringent um what's it called like regulation uh is is a good way of moving forward and uh it will also help uh, help adoption um they also mentioned that you know re regulation should probably be applied uh at the gatekeepers level which means exchanges and things like that um so that means that basically once you're in the in the crypto space um there's not going to be very you know like uh, a lot of uh, stringent rules that are uh, hard to enforce and that would also make it difficult on, on cryptocurrency enthusiasts. So moving forward, uh, the, only, the only thing to do is that uh, to see that um, we get behind the whole uh, crypto depression. And um, I know a lot of companies and a lot of uh, people are working hard to actually improve uh, cryptocurrency adoption and blockchain adoption overall. And um, that's, uh, that's uh, the way to go, I guess. So it's these small steps 
that take us further. Small, t small steps that take us further. Each continent, ne needless to say right now, um, uh, defines steps differently. But definitely hearing from you, Christoph, chairman of the, the Board of Blockchain for Europe, um, has been very enlightening. I want to thank you for joining us here on Block TV. And of course, that was a closer look at the ECB Europe and what they make of uh, of all of it. Do not forget, though, that we, Block TV, are right here as well. We're not going anywhere. Um, uh, and you can check us out on every single platform that you have, Facebook, Twitter, Telegram. We'll be right back.